Hello and welcome to the world of Pisces. Pisces, I hope that you all are radiating positive energy at this time. Let's hop into it. Let's get a high vibrational activity for you on your soul's journey, Pisces. Let's see what's the high vibrational activity for Pisces at this time on their soul's journey. Pisces, your high vibration is emotion. Feel your emotions. Be with them. Honor them. Process them. Then move on and enjoy your life. Okay? Emotions. The universe wants you to feel them. It wants you to be with them. It wants you to honor them. Process them. Then move on from them and enjoy your life. Okay? So if you have anything that brings about sadness, you know, or, you know, just low vibrational things, trauma, deal with it, conquer it and move on simply, you know, emotions, Pisces. That's your high vibrational activity today to process your emotions. All right, Pisces. So let's hop into the reading, guys. What's been going on with y'all? Y'all want to hear about y'all people, y'all person in a relationship, Want to see what's going on around you? Want to check up on your energy? What we going to bring forth today? All right? At this time, we're going to talk about your person, Pisces. We're going to talk about your person because it's, it's, it's somebody who, who reaching out to you that you kind of ignore. Okay? You kind of ignoring somebody. I feel like you're giving somebody a taste of their own medicine. You want somebody to see how it feel to be in your shoes. To see how it feel to be treated that way. Alright, so let's just pull up some energy. Because that's what I'm feeling. You want to give somebody a taste of their own medicine. Okay, emotions on the, uh, you know, process them. Be with them. Honor them. Move on from them. Okay, because this is emotional right now. You want somebody to feel what you feel. Okay, you want to have a victory. You want to win. Okay, you want somebody to recognize you and your value. Okay, you want somebody to meet your your expectations for yourself, right? You you don't want to feel less than. You don't want nobody treating you less than. You a damn winner. You the prize. That's how you feel about yourself, and you want to be treated accordingly. So somebody not recognizing that you're the prize, okay? And you want them to feel what you feel. I don't feel like it's in a negative way. I just feel like it's time for somebody to learn a lesson, right? You making decisions. This is somebody you tired of pleasing. Somebody you tired of uh, catering to or always being available to, okay? You still haven't made a clear decision on this yet, but you trying out different ways of interacting with this person. You trying to find a trigger in this person okay yeah i feel like you trying to get their attention in a different type of way what what are you worth to them without asking maybe with this six of wands what what do what do you mean to them okay like that's what i'm feeling five of swords in the reverse okay communication is needed communication is needed for you and this person Okay, somebody, you don't want to disagree. It's like with this five of swords being in reverse, it's like you don't want to argue. You don't want to, you know, have a lot of disagreements or for things to get a little hyped up and out of control. You want to have a civil conversation about, you want to ask this person, what, like, what do I mean to you? What am I worth to you? Am I disposable or is this going somewhere? Can we have some form of success? I think these are the things you want to know, but I feel like you're not directly communicating it. You're trying to find triggers. You're trying to let this person feel what, however they make you feel. But there is communication needed here with this five of swords in the reverse. The fool in the reverse, okay? I'm not seeing you ready to move on from this person. 
but I also I'm not seeing you fully trusting them. I don't see you fully trusting them. Okay, let's talk to the six of wands. Okay, I feel like you want this person to see that you are the prize, that you are worth valuing. Like, what do I mean to you? Page of Cups. Okay, you being more real with yourself here. Which in turns you be more real with them. You like this person. You emotionally attack attached to them. And you want to share it. But you keep it bottled up in you. She's down at the bottom of the ocean. So whatever you feel for this person, you 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 wanna let it out. Right? It's like I have so much in my cup to offer. It's very fruitful. Like your your love, the love that you have for this person is abundant. But you haven't given it to them. They don't know that you have that much love for them in, the, in your cup. You keep all this buried. Okay? And they triggering you somehow. Because you don't feel like they value you. You don't feel like they appreciate you. You may feel like you're disposable. So I feel like you're doing a little holding back. Because you want to see where you really stand with this person without that communication. Without that arguing. You know, or disagreements. Okay? You just want to see. You want them to re you want to see do they recognize your value or do you mean anything to them? First, before you open up and express that, you're trying to get to the bottom of something. Okay? 6 of swords. You want to move forward with this person. All these sixes, you know, you want a future. You just don't want no drama. You don't want to fight for it. You don't want to compete. You don't want to fall in love with somebody who doesn't truly love you or isn't capable or just don't know how. You need to conversate with this five of swords in the reverse. Now, if you're trying to put some things together to kind of just see that's okay. But don't base your whole uh, judgment or decision off of this until you communicate. Okay? So with this two of swords, it's like you're tired of pleasing this person, right? You want to see, because your vision is blocked on this. You have a veil on with this. You want to see what they truly feel about you and how much they value you and are you worth anything to them. You want to know if you mean anything to them. With this two of swords. You want to know if they value you. What do I mean to you? Where is this going? Knight of swords. In the reverse. I feel like you taking your time. And you thinking about this. Okay. You, you trying to put something into action. Okay. You trying to figure something out. You slowed this situation all the way down. You may have been moving fast in the past. You may have given so much, but I feel like it's your turn. You want to see what they got to offer you. You've already showed them what you have to offer. That six of wands. How? How? What, what else you want to see? I'm going to keep it in the middle. Okay? I went one step ahead of that middle. I'm almost tipping the scale. So I feel like you slowed a lot down because you're not seeing progress because you're not feeling it. Because you feel like you got to suppress your feelings in order to keep the peace because you're not confrontational. But you did slow down and you're not speaking on what you're feeling because you want to see where you stand with them. How they feel about you. Do they value you? How would they feel if you just stopped doing the things, some of the things that you used to do? Or if you ghost a little bit? Or if you don't answer the phone today? Or if you don't text back today? Or if you just fall back? Okay? You want, you doing something to try to make them feel what you feel. 
they are a trigger to you and you trying to trigger them. Okay. So you slowing things down here with nice with the Knight of Swords. You trying to create some form of plan, right? Three of Swords in the reverse because you're not trying to get hurt. You're not trying to invest your emotions into somebody who don't value you, somebody who not emotionally connected to you, someone who just doesn't fit your standard or not willing to love you, don't know how to love you, not capable, got somebody else, ain't ready, not mature enough. You know, you just want something that's real and genuine that you don't have to work so hard for because you're tired of fighting for love. You don't want to be hurt. So you smart this time around, right? You 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 really using your brain with this person. You making head over heart decisions. And I am proud of you for taking a step back and even trying to see how a person feel about you because you refuse to be played. You refuse to invest into something if you not going to win, period. If I ain't winning, I ain't. I'm not following that. So I understand. I get it. Five of Swords. You need to talk to this person. Five of Swords in the reverse. It's just pure communication without the arguments. You know, a, a civil adult conversation. You know, so you just want to have a real need to have a real conversation with this person about how you feel. That that would bring that would bring more clarity to a situation. That will balance things out. You see how this woman. Is given to both, okay? That's uh, giving and receiving, okay? So you want an equal balance of give and take. You don't want to give this person too much and they're not giving it back in return, okay? So you need to have a conversation with this person so that you guys can put things into perspective or just you can put things into perspective so you can know how to move forward from this point on. Okay, the star. No, I'm doing reversals. It came in the reverse. Okay, the star in reverse, Pisces. Okay, you haven't healed from this person, right? This person has a major effect on you emotionally, spiritually, you know, uh, mentally. I feel like this person affects you in many different ways. They have the ability to change your personality, to change how you feel, to change your mood. You know what I'm saying? So this person kind of makes you a little stagnant because you suppress so much of your emotions with this person because you're not willing to take a chance of getting hurt. Even though you like them, even though you want to move forward with them, even though you want some form of victory out of this, you still are very, very cautious. If this person can't bring in no balance, I don't see you moving forward with it. But I do see them having the ability to take you out of alignment. So that's why you're being careful because you know yourself now. You know that if you invest your heart into somebody, they have an ability to affect you mentally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally. Okay? So you have this fool card right here, Pisces, and it's in the reverse. Okay? And this is you not fully trusting this person. Okay? King of Swords. Until you know what's up. Until you know the truth, until you get the facts, and you may not never get that if you never speak. So communication is very important, but you're not trusting it until you get the facts. You want to know for sure before you open your heart to anybody, right? And that's the, the only way is to have a conversation. The conversation is what's going to bring in the balance. Page of swords in reverse. See, you're not being real. You're not speaking on it. You're not talking about it. You're just trying to do stuff indirectly to see the best way is to just open up and, and be real with yourself and be real with them. At least you'll know conversation really brings balance. I feel like with this six of pinnacle, this person is going to feed into your bullshit. You know what I'm saying? They're going to feed into whatever this conversation is. They're going to give you the answers that you need. It may even be just the thing that you need. I see it coming into balance if you have the conversation. I see them giving to, to this situation, right? But with the star in reverse, it's just that you need to be sure because you don't want to get knocked out of alignment 
on, on something that's not going to benefit you, that you will not be able to have success. All right, Pisces, what's crossing the energy is the Empress in reverse. And this is simply you needing to release control. Stop trying to control the situation. Flow with it. All right. So let's get a word from the chakra wisdom to promote positivity, to see which chakra needs to be worked on, or to simply get an inspirational quote that we can say to ourselves each and every day. Pisces, you have the second chakra and it's the sacral chakra. And this one is relevant to well-being. I honor and respect my body by giving it what it deserves to thrive. I provide myself with the best of food, exercise, water, relaxation, therapeutic treatments, and thoughts. I only consume foods and liquids that were designed by nature to be in my body. I stimulate my body's energy flow with exercise. I make time to rest as stillness and tranquility are vital to my mind and my, and body's rejuvenation. So well-being is the positive energy. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead, hit the like or subscribe button. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. This is all I have, Pisces. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.